the unvaccinated patients are are leaving no room for someone with a heart attack or in need of a cancer operation, and so much more because they can't get into the ICU, they can't get into the operating rooms. The unvaccinated also put our economy at risk because people are reluctant to go out. Think about this. Even in places where there is no restriction on going to restaurants and gyms and movie theaters, people are not going in anywhere near the numbers because they're worried they're going to get sick. I've tried everything in my power to get people vaccinated. First thing I did when I was sworn in office back in January 20th is I bought enough vaccine right off the bat to vaccinate every single American. There were only 4 million Americans who had been vaccinated up to that point, even though the virus had been around. Second, we made everyone eligible to get a vaccination and made it easy and convenient for them to find a place to get vaccinated, over 880,000 places around the country. Third, we gave everyone ample time and information to deal with their concerns. We developed hundreds of million, we, millions of dollars in incentives. You did here in the city and the state of, 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 of Illinois. In cities and community organizations to encourage vaccinations. Governor Pritzker, Pritzker, you've done one hell of a job in terms of encouraging people before we get to the mandate. But even after all these efforts, we still had more than a quarter of the people in the United States who were eligible for vaccinations but didn't get the shot. And we know there is no other way to beat the pandemic than to get the vast majority of Americans vaccinated. It's as simple as that. And to, and to, to spread to our children, to spread throughout society, in our hospitals, or the risk of other variants, it's all dangerous and obvious, but we're still not there. We have to beat this thing. So while I didn't race uh, to do it right away, that's why I've had to move toward requirements that everyone get vaccinated where I had the authority to do that. That wasn't my first instinct. My administration is now requiring federal workers to be vaccinated. We've also required federal contractors to be vaccinated. If you have a contract with the federal government working for the federal government, you have to be vaccinated. We're requiring active duty military to be vaccinated. We're making sure healthcare workers are vaccinated because if you seek care, at a health care facility, you should have the certainty that the pro people providing that care are protected from COVID and cannot spread it to you. The Labor Department is going to shortly issue an emergency rule, which I asked for several weeks ago, and they're going through the process, to require all employees with more than 100 people, whether they work for the federal government or not, this is within the, uh, in the purview of the Labor Department, to ensure their workers are fully vaccinated or face testing at least once a week. In total, this Labor Department vaccination requirement will cover 100 million Americans, about two-thirds of all the people who work in America. And here's the deal. These requirements are already proving that they work. Starting in July, when I announced the first vaccination requirement for the federal government, about 95 million eligible Americans were unvaccinated, as was mentioned a little bit earlier. Today, we've reduced that number to 67 eligible Americans who aren't vaccinated. And today, we released a new report outlining effective vaccination requirements that are already proving their, their worth. This report shows three things. First, vaccination requirements result in more people getting vaccinated. In the past few weeks, as more and more organizations have implemented their own requirements, they've seen their vaccination rates rise dramatically. For example, the Department of Defense has gone from 67 percent of active duty forces being vaccinated to 97 percent as of tomorrow. Vaccination just six weeks into this vaccination requirement. That's how quickly it's moved. 